just got back from the grocery store. Let me do a quick little haul. So first thing that I'm really excited about is we got a new rice cooker because I wasn't a fan of our current one. I feel like it doesn't cook rice as well and also doesn't keep rice as fresh and hot for long. Um, and this one's way bigger. So yeah, the rice cooker was from Henlom. Um, other things I got at Henlom are we have mangoes from Brazil. My sister got me some pork ribs yesterday. Got spring roll wrappers. I got about 80. Gonna use this for um, hosting Christmas. Uh, vermicelli noodles. This will also go into the spring roll. Got some gailang taro. Onion. Cucumber. Jumbo onion. We got big soup bowls because currently our biggest soup bowls is not as big and so since we're hosting a uh, Christmas dinner, I'm thinking of making fall with spring rolls. And um, yeah, this size will be good for like my dad and my brother and probably my father-in-law. Also got jumbo carrots, which I'm gonna use in our spring rolls as well. I got some mung beans. So my grandma is vegetarian and I'm gonna put mung beans in the vegetarian spring rolls. I'm actually making fall for the first time by myself. And so I hope it goes well. Um, but anyways, I got the spices, so we got star anise, fennel seeds. I can't remember what these are called. It's kind of like, reminds me of like a date, but it's not a date. I'm not, let me see what these are called. I don't know, I'm not sure what these are called. And then we got some coriander, have cloves, and we have cinnamon. I got some ginger as well. So what I totally forgot to get on my shopping trip was noodles. And, but that's easy. I could get that when I get like the, um, uh, basil, bean sprouts, all that stuff. Onion, cilantro. Yeah, I'll get that when I get all the fresher ingredients. Okay, I also got a grater. Also went to TNT. Got seaweed, stocked up on some ramen. I got the kimchi kind and just the regular shin ramen noodles. Broccoli and white potatoes. Last item we got is this coffee cake with walnuts. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Okay, so I'm doing two types of spring rolls. One is vegetarian, one is pork based. Um, each of them are gonna have taro, carrots, mung bean vermicelli, and woodier mushroom. And then the, also the vegetarian one will have mung beans itself, and the, then the meat one has pork. Um, and then I'm also, I just diced up onions. Um, what else? I think that's it. Right now I'm soaking the mung beans and the mung bean vermicelli as well as the woodier mushrooms. And now I'm going to shred up taro and carrot. Okay. Beautiful. All right, time to shred. Should I use the big hole or the small hole? I think I'll try the small one. Ooh. All right, that seems pretty good to me. Second carrot. And then this is how much um, carrot I have left over. I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces by knife because I'm too scared to go close to this. All right, now time to do a taro. Same deal. Same holes, and we go. Let me just show how it looks. How shredded. This is a shredded taro. All right, it's been, I want to say like two and a half hours. Um, yeah, I can't even remember what time it started, but it's 4.30 now, and I am I'm almost done making the filling for the spring rolls. Um, I'll show you what I'm working with. So I have two meat platters. Ignore the gloves, I'm just, that's how I was mixing it. I have my range hood on because I am just um, cooking a small sample of the meat one just to see how it tastes. Here's my little sample sizes. I really hope I um, estimate the seasoning correctly because I really don't want to mix it again. It's such a forearm workout. Um, yeah, let's see. Perfect, please not be salty. It smells good. I just eyeballed it. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm 
impressed with myself. <laughs> ones um, moving on to the meat okay you form it out with your hands I've been a little log and then so you grab the tip yep and then cover it before you um, and kind of pull it in so it's like so like the roll and the wrap is like tight together okay. we'll do like another one more roll forward yep. um, yeah and then so roll it twice now roll it in yep. and, and then push Take your pinkies and section it off like where the meat ends and then fold these in. Yeah, just as you roll, like make sure you're always pulling in and making sure it's tight. And then you can just grab a pinch of this paste. This is my husband's first attempt of a spring roll. I'll, I'll... Not too bad. Um, not too bad. I'll give it, I'll give it a six. <laughs> And this is 60 meat spring rolls, and then I have 20 vegetarian in the freezer now. We're done. Hello, good morning. What is the plan today? I am so congested, and I've been like sneezing. Yeah, and I don't know what it's from, like, I don't know, maybe I'm getting cold, I have no idea. Today I'll be wrapping some gifts, I think. Um, I have a few things to wrap right now. Um, I love wrapping presents, like I find it kind of therapeutic and it's very fun. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was zoomed in. We only have four chairs right now and we are hosting um, Christmas dinner. And so I need more chairs, but I think I'll just borrow chairs from my parents. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and I think the next time I vlog will be when I'm wrapping gifts. finish lunch and then um, continue gift wrapping. Bye! It is 4.23. I'll show you what I wrapped so far. These are gonna be my nephews. I just did this little design here um, with the craft paper. This one you can't really see that I did three folds because the plaid just kind of um, camouflages the folds. But yeah, the folds are there. I should hurry up and wrap this last gift, which is the biggest gift. And I'm gonna use this wrapping paper. I got my parents the Dyson V15. Um, I wanted to get the exact one that I have, uh, but annoyingly, it wasn't on sale. So I got uh, basically the same model, but this one comes with less attachments. How to wrap big box. What I'm gonna do is cut this to meat. I wanted to do one full on wrapping. Um, yeah, but this person just has two pieces and they covered it. I don't really wanna do that, sir, please. I want like a, ugh, okay, screw it. Let me, I'll think about this. Done. 
dun dun. Hello, good morning. It is a gloomy, gloomy Saturday, um, but it is the 23rd. I'm hosting a dinner tomorrow for the 24th of December and yeah, I'm gonna make some fowl for everyone. Uh, so today I'm gonna make the just like the regular beef fowl broth soup and then also making like a vegetarian broth for my grandma. Um, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. This is my first time making it, but I hope it goes well and I hope the broth turns out very clear and delicious. So my mom already helped me blanch the um, beef bones um, and the brisket. So that part's out of the way. So I personally don't own a big um, soup pot, so I borrowed this one from my mom. It is, I don't know how much quartz it is, um, but it holds a lot of soup. So <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be using. So here is my big pot of bones. The goal is to get the water past the bones. This has been boiling for about an hour now. I just put in like the toasted onion and ginger is somewhere in there. It's probably sink to the bottom. Here is my veggie soup. Um, for the broth, I'm using carrots, mushrooms, onion, and apples for, to add sweetness. Um, and then I toasted the spices here. So it's cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, cloves, um, fennel seeds. What else is in here? Uh, I can't remember what the big pods are called. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna split this between the veggie soup and then the beef soup. I unfortunately don't have a tea bag. Um, so once the soup is ready, I'm just gonna scoop up all the spices. I probably will miss some, but it's okay. In goes cinnamon. I'm gonna do these two sticks of cinnamon for this broth. Three star anise. I'm gonna crush these pods. In goes my cinnamon for the veggie broth. And two star anise. And my fennel seeds and cloves are all kind of mixed up, so I'm just gonna do about two thirds of it in here and then a third in there. There. I'm not really smelling the spices just yet, which makes me a little nervous. I hope I toasted them to like a good temperature and fragrant. All right, I'm gonna turn back on the range and let this stew for like another four to five hours. It's not smelling um, too much like fowl, so I'm gonna toast some more star anise and I hope that solves my problem. <laughs> I will add a spoon in my veggie broth. And two spoons in my... It just smells very beefy and I'm not smelling like the fowl soup. Oh, I hope I did this right, please. Alright, it is 4.08 right now, a bit of an update. So I fried the tofu, this will go in the um, vegetarian fowl soup. And here is the vegetarian fowl broth. I just took out all of the um, solids. So now it's a nice, very clear broth. Um, also finished my beef broth. I still have all like the spices and onions and beef bones in here. I will need to scoop that out, um, but we're gonna head to Michael's first and then I will scoop this out. It definitely smells and tastes like fowl now, so I'm glad. I guess it just takes a while for the uh, spices to kick in, but yes, it tastes good and I'm happy and I hope tomorrow will go well. Or at least I am more, um, I'm more confident that the soup tastes like fowl now. I doubt it is up to like the level of how my mom makes it, but I think it is decent. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Yeah, we're gonna head to Michael's now. I will, I'm not sure if I will get anything, but if I do, I'll give a little haul. All right, 
what a day it's been. It is almost 10 p.m. We just finished cleaning up dinner. And now I have some downtime. Tomorrow I just have, um, I have like simple stuff to do tomorrow. So that's like wash the bean sprouts, cut limes, sort the basil, cilantro, onions. Um, what else is left tomorrow? Cut the meat um, and then fry spring rolls. And I think that's it. Right now I'm gonna chill a little bit. Um, Tomorrow's my birthday and my husband got me some flowers. This bouquet right here. I'll probably split this arrangement and have some out here in the kitchen and then also in my office. It's looking cute, just a simple small bouquet. Definitely not the prettiest bouquet, but um, I'll give it 360. A lot of different things coming out of all angles. All right, this is gonna go, um, I just need to put water in it, of course, but I think this will go right on this kitchen table here. to prep all of the um, like garnishes. I'm gonna sort out the basil, wash bean sprouts, cut onions, cilantro, um, cut the limes, what else? And I'm also gonna cut all the meats. So um, yeah, let's get to it. It is 10.15, all the guests have gone. I did not vlog anything after my last clip. I didn't vlog any of like the food preparation, eating time, hanging out time. Um, yeah, I meant to vlog like prepping for food. There was just no time for me to pick up a camera because we're always just like doing stuff in the kitchen. So, but yeah, it was fun. Um, I would say my first dinner party was successful. Uh, I think everyone enjoyed the food, um, and yeah, um, we gave the gifts to my nephew and it was just really fun watching him um, unwrap them and play with them. Um, yeah, it was a good time. I am 28 now. Um, it's crazy. It's a good age though, 28. That's a good number. Yeah. Feeling very fortunate and grateful. Um, yeah, it was a really good night and I think I will sign off here. This vlog is going to go up way past the holidays, but um, I hope everyone had a great holiday and a happy new year. I'll see you in the next vlog.